this video, we're going to show you the best settings in Madden 24. And we're going to show you also how to make sure that this is also optimized for Madden Ultimate Team, as well as the best freeform settings. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, guys, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon. You can sign up by clicking the link in the description. It's only $10 to sign up. It gets you access to all of my full schemes, offensive, defensive ebooks, everything for just $10. And I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. We've dropped a ton of updates to it this week. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, consider consider uh, joining that uh, at the link in the description. Let's talk about settings real quick. So when we log in, this is kind of what we're going to see on your main screen. We're going to scroll over here to settings, and I just want to give you my favorite settings for this game. Now, offensive playbook, I think the best playbook in the game right now is the Indianapolis Colts playbook. we got a full ebook on that in the Patreon. I actually think the best defensive playbook is the multiple defensive playbook because it has the best A-gap blitzes in the game. It also has great dime normal, and 5-2 is one of the most underrated rated formations in this game for red zone and just very very good you could also go kansas city but to me it's either the kansas city chiefs defensive playbook or the multiple defensive playbook as of right now now in terms of the rest of the settings that we're going to be going over we're going to go skill level all madden game style uh, game style competitive if you're wanting to play regs just for if you're wanting to lab um, you could put these on 15 minutes and with no uh, accelerated clock and no penalty for delay a game just kind of something if you want to lab in game stuff but also really important here coin toss first choice you always want this to be kick and the reason why is because clock management is so important in madden every single year this is one of the things that separates the best players in the world from average players is their clock management and in order what the kick does is it allows you to get the ball at halftime. This is going to allow you to almost kind of, in a way, be up a stop from the start of the game. It's a very, very important uh, and very, very important setting to have, and I don't want to overestimate it. We also put with wind here. The main reason we're doing this is just so that if there is happen to be wind in the stadium, that we will have the wind behind us um, so that we're kicking kind of, we're not kicking into the wind, but we're kicking with the wind in the second half when you might be kicking a game winning kick or something. That's the only reason I'm doing that right there. For freeform passing, I feel like you have to use freeform passing in this game. I think it, I just don't think you can play on classic anymore. And they've actually made it, I think, a little bit better, a little bit more forgiving than it was last year. So for passing type, what I recommend is placement and power. Passing slowdown is going to be off. Freeform reticle distance, ma uh, max distance. We're going to go near. Uh, I find this to be the best settings for me, uh, and I think a lot of people use these settings, actually. Uh, freeform reticle speed is 5, 6, or 7 out of 20. I like to recommend 5 uh, for me. That's what I kind of use. Um, this has just been working for me, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. It, 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 you could You could... You could mess with this. This is a little bit of a preference thing. It's not set in stone. That I don't think there's been a freeform setting all year this year that has been completely set in stone and you have to use it. Like last year, it was near 20 out of 20, pretty much all year. I still think you know there's some leeway here. You could go all the way down to one. You could go down to five. This is almost kind of like sensitivity. So the more you bump it up, the more pass leads you're going to have on the ball, but also the more susceptible you're going to be to overthrowing the pass. I like five out of 20. Auto flip defensive play call. We're going to keep this on. Um, this is You can turn this off in your coaching adjustments. So that's what I do. I just keep it on. And then my coaching adjustments, if I want to, I'll turn it off. Honestly, though, most defenses in Madden 24, I'm actually going to turn this off because I think every defense that I've ran over the last several months has required auto flip defensive play call off. So just kind of something... And of course, you can turn this on on in game if you want. Defensive ball hawk, we're going to put this on. Um, very important that you have this on. Defensive heat seeker assist, I like to have this on. I do think it's a little bit. I think it actually helps tackling. Um, there's a debate about this. You could leave it off. I think putting it on is better. Defensive switch assist is going to be off, and that is pretty much it for the settings. I hope that these settings make you a better Madden player. In my opinion, these are the best settings that you can have uh, to be able to just kind of, I guess, like be more in control uh, when you're on the field. So just kind of these are the, the, the most optimized settings for me. Figured I'd share them with you guys. If you want to take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to so, so much content and content that is going to help you learn how to play offense at a really high level, how to play defense at a really high level, how to adjust to what the best players in the world are doing. And all around, not only in the, kind of the underrated thing about the Patreon is over time, as you engage with content, it's going to start to teach you how to think for yourself and you're going to be able to make your own schemes as a result. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head down to the description and go sign up for the Patreon at the link down below.